So once you've decided on which boat you're going to go for, the next thing is the equipment that it's going to carry. Now typically these days, a rib will carry certain key items on its helm console. This unit here, where the wheel is found, the throttle control uh, is, is placed. Now these include a fixed compass, something very important, GPS, no longer just the sort of item that you might find on a luxury craft. Also, every boat needs a fixed VHF radio. At least one person on the boat has to have a license in order to operate it, and that's registered. And I always carry, as well, in addition, one of these, which is a, a handheld waterproof VHF radio as a backup. This is a, um, a very popular make, Icon. Very, very good, very reliable. Now, on this particular boat, the key items in terms of fixed radio, GPS, etc., are all made by Garmin, one of the leading uh, manufacturers of this type of equipment. But of course, there are other makers as well, and they supply very good equipment as well. I think the beauty of a rib is its simplicity, really, and this helm console is a good example of that. Other typical items on the console, of course, are the um, Taco speed gauges here. This one also registers your, your, um, your fuel. This um, Taco here also indicates your trim, which is adjusted here, much in the same way as an aircraft uh, um, uh, will have trim to adjust its uh, uh, angle of flight. This does the same way here in terms of uh, moving the outboard either out or in to bring its nose up or down. That's indicated on that dial. In the ignition switch, and uh, switches here to operate such things as navigation lights, bilge pump, etc. Also, you'll notice I'm wearing this extendable cord, which is connected to the throttle control, just on the uh, starboard side of the helm console. Now, if you notice, when that's pulled out, the engine stops. This kill cord could save your life, and indeed, if it's worn, it will save your life if anybody goes over the over the other uh, side of the boat, particularly the helmsman, this will stop the engine and uh, should be worn at all times. Well, there are other essential items that you must carry on board a boat. I think um, being prepared for the worst is always a good motto to apply when going to sea. But those items include a really good anchor. That'll need to be connected to a good length of uh, uh, chain and then in turn uh, some 50 metres of anchor warp or anchor rope. Now that'll be stowed traditionally up in the, uh, in the front locker of the, um, the boat. That's where that'll be kept. And then um, other essential items would of course include a, um, an offshore pair pack, uh, flare pack, or if you're just doing uh, coastal runs, an inshore flare pack. On this boat, stowed within this um, particular locker here, easily accessible and here we go also within the lockers of the boat you'll find items such as a fair first aid pack which you should uh, carry for a little first aid box uh, you might carry some spare waterproofs they could go in a, a waterproof locker such as this other essential items you'd want to be, want to be sure to carry would be a knife a torch a spare kill switch some additional lengths of uh, line or, or, or rope spare waterproofs, all those sorts of things could be either carried, if not on your person, within these waterproof lockers. Ribs are a really great way to get into boating. They're a type of boat that can take you to sea and really offer so much in terms of being able to show you the beauty of this whole environment.